most identifiable buildings in our skyline are, of course, the Rogers Center, formerly known as the Sky Dome, and the CN Tower, Canada's national tower. The CN Tower started construction in 1974, and it was completed in 1976 as the world's tallest freestanding structure. It maintained the title for over 32 years until it was just recently surpassed by the Tower of Dubai. Now, the CN Tower stands at 553 meters high, and once the Tower of Dubai is complete, it will stand at 818 meters high. If you'd ever like to visit the CN Tower, I highly suggest you do so for the revolving restaurant located up top. This restaurant is appropriately named the 360 because it does rotate every 72 minutes, providing wonderful views of the city as well as of the Toronto Harbour and Islands. If you do decide to make reservations at this restaurant, you are getting to the CN Tower completely free as well. And yes, you did hear correctly, there is a glass floor here at the CN Tower. It is approximately 332 meters in the sky, and you have the ability to walk, run, jump, dance, skip, do whatever you like on this glass floor, and look those 332 meters to the ground below you. Now, I know this does sound quite frightening, but don't be afraid. The glass floor is reinforced to be stronger than industrial concrete, and it can hold the weight of over 40 by the CN Tower. The Rogers Center is formerly known as the Sky Dome until it was bought out that maybe they're just compensating for something. <laughs> now this gold tower is of course owned by the Royal Bank of Canada. Although we do have men finally right in here to the Toronto Harbour, where it is shipped to the factory on the right hand side of the boat at the moment, You'll notice it's a white factory with red writing on the side and the smokestack in front, the Red Path Sugar Refinery.